We're here outside Bishop's training ground uh, where Podger Out, Podger In continues to divide the community. We'll see what people really think. I went to pull Ben. I would pull it, I, I'm, I'm behind Ben. Ben, Ben in. I'm not calling Ben. Ben in, Ben, ben in, Podger Out. Ben in. in, I love Podger. Podger Out, definitely. Podger out. Definitely Podger, Podger. Podger. definitely Podger. 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 Bishops Fan TV here, we're here with Matt Devro, centre attacking midfielder for Bishops, uh, Coutinho like some might say, um, he is spearheading the in-camp campaign against Mr Podger, the Podger out, um, why do you want Podger out? Uh, well first of all I don't think it's been a very successful season, this is on, uh, uh, we've had a lot of chances to progress into the final rounds of competitions but obviously Mr Podger's tactics and his uh, technical knowledge don't really stretch far enough to sort of suit the ability of the team we've got. We've got some promising players. Mr Ensby, what do you make of Podger in, Podger out? I'm very concerned. I've never thought he would stand on the pie question. Mm. Um, and with the pie question, do you, do you think that they can overcome that or do you think that will really hinder their chances? I think this vegan pie policy has alienated all of the supporters. I think it's weakening the team. Mm. Uh, I think it's got to change. Whether he goes or not, I think the vegan pies have got to go. You think there's too much power with the nutritionist, uh, Mr. Oldham? Uh, absolutely. I, I think common sense needs to prevail. Uh, steak pie and Guinness was good enough for the team in the past. I don't know why we've abandoned that. There we go. 17 year old steak pie and Guinness. That's the solution. Thank you very much, Mr. Ensby. Bishop's Fan TV here. We've got an exclusive interview with the club chairman, Dr. Smallwood. Dr. Smallwood, can the club continue under Mr. Podger? Uh, well, my view is uh, Mr. Podger's had a chance, he's brought in new players, he's spent lots of club money, but the results haven't come. We lack silverware here. We need silverware. The fans are complaining. I think we need Mr. Podger to call it a day. Great, yeah, thank you very much. We barged our way past security, we got into the manager's office. We're here with him now. Uh, Mr. Podger, what do you make of this whole situation? Oh, which situation? Pod Podger out, Podger in. The fans are in, in up and arms. I don't even let it bother me. I'm way above all that. You're relaxing now with painting, you give everything to this community. Yeah, this is this is in my other form of art. But as far as I'm concerned, I'm the apex predator in terms of football and the fans mean nothing to you. Fans mean nothing to you. That's a bold statement. I'm not sure that's gonna go down well in the press. I oh, know, only the ones that are saying fight your own, whoever they are. I expect this is a small minority. It's quite a large number making a lot of noise. Well, it's always one making a lot of noise. I've taken advice from my good friend um, Arsene Wenger and him and I are uh, for a more We've heard a lot of opinions on the issue today, but we've not heard facts. Cold hard facts. I'm here with statistician Joe Gent, who's been crunching the numbers. Joe. Yeah, yeah unfortunately, it's not looking good. I mean, the numbers just don't add up. They don't add up? No, they, they don't support the view. And unfortunately, it's just another case of data being manipulated by people in it's powerful a... positions mm. for their own agenda. And so, yeah, I'm sorry to say that that we're, 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 we've concluded that there's just no evidence to support I'm going to have to stop you there, we just got... Jamie! Jamie! Um, uh, obviously Mr Podger, Mr. Podger is uh, being touted to leave the club now. Uh, would you be considering taking over his position as the manager of Bishops? Well, we've just got to look at, you know, he's a fantastic manager. I don't, I don't take that away from him, so I can't where he's coming from, but... If you look at players like myself, you know, coming from a defensive role, you know... Take a look at Gary Neville. Gary Neville, he went to... I don't know what he's doing. You know, he's a great pundit. He's shown that, but you know, taking it to football, I don't know if he can do it. I don't know if, I don't know if he's got it. So, if, I'm, if he's a quality, I'm not going to have it. But I'm certainly going to do a better job than, than Sir Podger. I think his time's up. But mm. I don't think I'll carry forward. So. Alright, thank you, Jamie. Thank you. We're here at the club reception with our two wonderful receptionists. We're discussing the issue of Podger in, Podger out. First, let's go to my right. What are you making of this current kind of situation? I think we, we should have got something. I don't know. I don't know what happened. The what same do you mean you don't know what f***ing happened? You it's been going on for f***ing years. It's time for f***ing change now. Right? It's the same old Swear at me. It's We're here with Club Secretary, Mr. Rogers. Mr. Rogers, um, this whole Podger out, Podger in thing, you think it's gone far enough? Uh, yeah, absolutely. No, he, he's got my 100% support. Um, the whole border behind him as well. So uh, there's no chance of him being uh, out of this position. Uh, were you aware of the unrest? To be honest, only recently. In fact, you told me earlier. But uh, apart from that, um, no. I did. I told you literally a minute ago. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, that's right. Yeah, we're just waiting to get more words with Jamie here. Um, hopefully he can offer some more thoughts on the situation uh, and the new odds coming in from Skybet and whether I think he's coming now. 
Jamie, Jamie, it's a bit of a new tutor one was today. Uh, is there something that's changed your mind? Is there more likely to get into the job now? Of course, you know, if I have to go, so, you know, if I was someone else, I'd probably put money on it, but I don't want to see Shane, you know, I'm going to get a job, it's such, I don't know what I'm doing, so, as far as I'm concerned, nothing's changed. Okay, but, but, Jamie, there is one really important question, and this probably is the most important question. That's why me and my mother don't talk anymore. Brilliant, thank you. I think that's answered a lot of questions. <laughs> we managed to catch club legend, uh, Mr Churchill. Mr Churchill, can we just ask you about the Podger situation? Podger? Podger, sorry, what, what situation? Uh, the fact that the uh, fans are unhappy um, at the moment, they're wanting Podger out. What does he do? I, I, sorry, Podger out? I'm not sure which, who, who, what, what's this in relation to, sorry. Uh, well, managing the club, you see. He, uh, people don't what, he manages the club? Well, some would say he doesn't, that's the problem. Oh. Oh, I, I didn't know, even know he played football, to be honest. This is Fan TV here. Uh, unfortunately, at the end of our uh, interview with Mr Churchill there, there was a bit of a scrap, there was some fisticuffs were thrown, uh, and unfortunately, we've borne the brunt of um, the police prosecution. Uh, so we're here in prison. I'm afraid that is the end of our broadcast. Uh, thank you very much.